you're a worship leader or you play in your church's praise and worship team, you've probably heard of Planning Center Online. If you use Planning Center, you also have access to their Music Stand app, which is available on iOS, Android, and desktop. Let's take a look at how to set up your stomp pedal to control the app. Step one is to make sure that your stomp pedal is connected to your device. To do so, turn the pedal on, open your device's Bluetooth settings, and turn Bluetooth on. Under the Devices list, select Coda Music Tech. The LED status indicator will turn solid blue once your device is connected. Next, open the Music Stand app and click Settings in the lower left-hand corner. Select Pedal and Keyboard Input. From there, you'll see a list of four basic commands within the app that Stomp can trigger. Select one and then choose which of Stomp's mode and foot switch combinations you'd like to act as the trigger for that command. For example, to have Stomp's right arrow action trigger Music Stand's Next Page command, select Next Page, make sure Stomp is in mode one, and then press the right foot switch. The Stomp action you select will pop up next to the in-app command on the screen, indicating that it has successfully been set up. You can then repeat this with the left foot switch for the previous page action. Or, if you'd rather trigger a metronome or Music Stand's play audio tool, you can follow these same steps with Stomp in mode two to set them up as an alternative option. One of Music Stand's many cool features is the Notes tool, which allows you to add annotations to sheet music by highlighting, drawing, or typing text. In order to type out text while Stomp is connected, you'll need to put the pedal in standby using the virtual keyboard function. To do so, simply press both foot switches simultaneously. Now you'll be able to use your device's built-in keyboard. When you're finished, simply press both foot switches simultaneously again to reactivate your Stomp pedal. Among Music Stand's other notable features are the Metronome tool and the Play Audio tool. both of which can be triggered by Stomp. There's also a session feature which allows you to control multiple devices at once using the app. This means that you can connect Stomp to one master device and then have everyone else's device follow along automatically. If you're running Music Stand on an iOS or Android device, you can use Stomp to power your device while you use it. Simply plug your device into the USB port on the back of Stomp and it'll stay charged for as long as you need it to. Remember that this only works if you're powering Stomp with a 1500 milliamp 9 volt power supply. And those are the basics of using Stomp with Planning Center Online's Music Stand app. For more information about Music Stand, visit planning.center forward slash music dash stand. And to learn more about what else Stomp can do to help you take your performances to the next level, check out our website, codamusictech.com.